Congresswoman Tlaib. Fox News. I don't talk to Fox News. At a rally in your district, people were chanting death to America. Do you condemn? talk to Fox News. But do you condemn chants of death to America? I don't talk to people that use racist tropes. Why can't you just say whether or not you condemn people chanting Fox death to America? Why are you afraid to talk to Fox? Fox News is not, not listen, using racist tropes towards my community is what Fox News is about, and I don't talk to Fox News. Is death to America racist? Is chanting death to America racist? I'm talking about your guys' racist tropes. You know, you guys are, you guys know exactly what you do. I know you're Islamophobic, but you guys got to go deal with it on your own self. You're not going to use me. The Death to America chants took place in Tlaib's district. She condemned Fox News, not those chants. It's the United States government that provides the funds for all of the atrocities that we just heard about. And this is why Imam Khomeini, who declared the International Day of Quds, this is why he would say to pour all of your cha all of your chants and all of your shouts upon the head of America. Malcolm X said, and I quote, we live in one of the rottenest countries that, have ever, that has ever existed on this earth. It's not Genocide Joe that has to go. It's the entire system that has to go. Any system that would allow such atrocities and such devilry to, a ha to happen and would support it, such a system does not deserve to exist on God's earth. And so when these fools ask us if Israel has the right to exist, the chant death to Israel has become the most logical chant shouted across the world today. Not a great look. The mayor condemned it. The White House condemned it. But what about Congresswoman Rashida Tlaib? She reps Dearborn. Is she okay with her constituents chanting death to America? All I'm saying is if they want to leave, they can leave, John. They can leave. I mean, I look at the one, I look at Omar, I don't know, I never met her. I hear the way she talks about Al-Qaeda. Al-Qaeda has killed many Americans. She said, you can hold your chest out. You can, when I think of America, huh? When I think of Al-Qaeda, I can hold my chest out. Every time the, the, the professor said Al-Qaeda, he sort of like, his shoulders yeah. went up and, you know. Yeah, he's in command like, here. Yeah. Al-Qaeda, you know, has been an ex You don't say America with an yeah. intensity. You yeah. don't say England yeah. with yeah. an intensity. But you say these, these names because you, you want that, that word to carry weight. When she talked about the World Trade Center being knocked down, some people, you remember the famous some people. CARE was founded after 9-11 because they recognized that some people did something and that all of us were starting to lose access to our civil liberties. These are people that, in my opinion, hate our country. Now, you can say what you want, but get a list of all of the statements they've made. And all I'm saying that if they're not happy here, they can leave. They can leave. And you know what? I'm, I'm sure that there'll be many people that won't miss them. But they have to love, they have to love our country, they're Congress people.